a pair of custom-fit Wesco boots could be the most valuable investment you'll ever make. They'll fit you like a glove and provide you with a level of comfort you've probably never had in a boot or a shoe. While some bootmakers define custom fit by finding the nearest size, Wesco bootmakers rely on nine decades of experience and the most precise measuring process in the industry. Accurate measuring is vitally important to building boots that perform well. We use the exact measurements you send us to make a pattern. From this pattern, we form the shoe last. Keep in mind the fit of the leg and the fit of the foot are of equal importance. A custom boot should conform to the exact contours of both your foot and leg. Customers with slimmer or larger calves have a difficult time finding pull-on or tall lace-up boots that fit properly. They are thrilled to learn we cut the upper portion of the boot so that it fits perfectly. Building the custom fit last is critically important in our shoemaking process because it plays so many roles in the overall fit and design of the boot. Almost from the beginning and through to the finish, the last remains inside the boot. This allows each step of the boot's construction to be completed while retaining the original shape and dimensions of the foot portion. It is only when the boot has gone through all 155 steps that the last, its job completed, is removed and the boot can stand alone as a finished product. To begin, you'll need a designated person to take your measurements. For the sake of accuracy, don't try to take the measurements yourself. Before you start measuring, take just a minute and read through all the instructions. It helps you and your helper to know what the process involves. If you'll be wearing orthotics in your boots, please give us a quick call before you start measuring. Okay, gather your tools. The Wesco Custom Fit Form. The Wesco Measuring Tape. A pencil, please, not a pen. A board or solid flat work surface and the socks you'd normally wear with boots. Put on your socks and pull them snug. Grab your Wesco custom fit form and a pencil. Sit down on a chair or bench. Put the custom fit form down flat on your board or solid surface. Place the heel of your right foot where the right heel is indicated on the custom fit form. Scoot forward and bend your knee slightly forward. You're now ready to get foot and leg measurements. Take your time because accuracy is key to a proper fit. The first measurement is a foot tracing. Begin with your right foot. Have your helper trace carefully around your foot, creating an outline. We need a single, clean line. Make sure the pencil is held straight up at all times. This is critical. If the pencil is tipped to the side even slightly, the pattern for your boot will not be accurate. Next, we'll need three specific foot measurements. Behind the ball of your foot, your instep, and at the base of your heel. Pivot your foot up at the heel without moving your foot off the tracing outline and slide the measuring tape right under it. Place the measuring tape right behind the ball of your foot. Pull it snug, not tight, around your foot. Make a note of it. There's a space provided for this measurement at the bottom of the custom fit form. Make a mark on the foot tracing exactly where the tape is placed, like this. Measurement of your instep is next. Place the measuring tape around your instep. Pull it snug. Make a mark on the foot tracing exactly where the tape is placed. Record your instep circumference measurement in the space provided. Take the measuring tape and now place it around the base of the heel. Again, make sure the tape is wrapped snug. Record this measurement on the custom fit form in the space provided. Now we'll need your right leg measurements. Begin by pulling the tape snug around your ankle, just above the ankle bone. Write it down in the space provided. If you know you'll be wearing your pants inside your boots, please take two sets of leg circumference measurements. One set that includes the pant legs in the measurement and one that does not. After the ankle bone, measure the part of your leg that is seven inches from the ground. Take the next measurement two inches up from the last one and continue at two inch intervals until you are up to the boot height you're ordering or may order in the future. 
make sure all of your measurements are written down in the space provided on the form. You've finished measuring your right foot and leg. Measure your left foot and leg the same way, recording the measurements as you go. Please don't assume your right and left feet and legs are the same. This isn't always the case. In fact, please make a special note of any irregularities or unique characteristics regarding either one or both feet. This includes bunions, hammer toes, high instep, flat feet, bumps, protrusions, or feet that differ in size and or width, etc. Remember, take your time. If we're going to build a pair of boots that fit you, let's get it right. Common Mistakes Customers Make 1. No tape marks on the tracing where the tape was placed. 2. Line traced around the feet is incomplete. 3 multiple trace lines around the feet. 4. Not using the start line on the measuring tape. 5. Not taking and including all foot measurements behind the ball, instep, and heel. 6. Not taking and including all leg measurements above ankle bone and all heights required. Once we have your measurements, we'll keep them on file for your next pair of boots or to rebuild your old pair back to almost like new. You're all done with measuring. Now for the best part, choosing the style you want, the color and kind of leather, and any special detailing that will make your new Westcos exactly the way you want them.